Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. God, I can't say that this morning. Um, to do your weekly reading. So this will be from the 1st to the 7th of March and will be for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, remember the readings are general, though. They may not resonate with all of you. Try to be smart. Use your intuition. If the reading doesn't resonate or doesn't feel right, then it's not yours. Okay, and I'm using the before tarot here. Okie dokie. Oh, we have the Page of Swords coming out. So the Page of Swords represents the air signs, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So you could be dealing with one of those. This can be a child. A page of swords is often a child. So it could be that you've got, um, you know, a reason to worry or reason to be concerned about a child around you at the moment. Perhaps um, having issues or problems there. But the page of swords is a card of research. This guy has got his sword ready. He wants to know truth. He's trying to understand his way in the world. So you may have a young person in your life who's doing that. But it's also about, when I talk about research, it can be about someone spying on you or you spying on someone else. Someone trying to understand something, trying to get to the root of the matter here. Hmm, because somebody's got an offer here. Somebody wants to offer new love. And they may be at the moment checking you out just to see whether you are single, whether you are in a position to accept this love. Someone's keeping a close eye on you here. This is about marriage and long-term success. It could also be someone wanting to uh, headhunt you for a job. So somebody could be um, trying to look for certain attributes in a person to suit a role here. Um, I do have the King of Swords here. So I think you're definitely dealing with someone who has a very airy sort of personality. So you could be dealing with someone who's a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, but more than likely you're dealing with someone who may be a little coldish, who may be very logical thinking, and you're coming from the fiery side where you be a, might be a little bit more passionate. And you could be trying to work out whether this person is right for you or not. You're studying them. Okay, so we have the hanged man here. So I think that you've made a decision that you want to be with this person. I think you've made a decision that you want to move forward with this person. But you're just trying to understand them a little better. So it's possible here that you could be trying to look at things from a very different perspective. Trying to understand how to work with this person. But the hanged man talks about taking time out to look for, look at things differently. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is about walking away from things that don't emotionally fulfill you. Now, I love in this card that he's drinking from that cup because this says to me that you are walking away from something because you feel that you deserve something better. So it may be that you've walked away from another relationship realising that sometimes you just have to drink from your own cup. Sometimes it's about learning self-love. Okay, so it could be dealing with a Scorpio here, but we have the card of death coming out. Now, the death card talks of transformation. It talks, and this is what often you do with the hanged man. This is about understanding that things just aren't quite going the way you thought they were and taking time out to really look at, you know, how you can change, what you can do. Sometimes the death is enforced by the universe. So it may be the universe sort of trying to get you to understand something in a very different way. So it may come in the form of an epiphany or awakening. But you're definitely looking at doing things differently here. I feel like you may have met someone that's changed your perspective on things. We'll keep going. This is you. So maybe you're realising what you deserve, what you want to have in your life. Maybe you're understanding your love and value and respect for yourself here. 
but you're definitely taking the lead now. You're no longer the observer in your life. You're taking control of things and not in a negative way. You're taking your power back. So they, whenever you go through these periods of time, there's always time where you need to take time, you know, time out to really understand why you're in this situation. This guy has butterflies here. So I think through this death card and especially the spirituality that's in this card, you're starting to understand a deeper purpose and you're rebirthing. So maybe whoever you're moving towards is a lot more in tune with what you want in life. Maybe you haven't always picked the right people for yourself, but you're definitely rebirthing something here. So, sometimes when we are living our lives a certain way or have a certain set of beliefs about ourselves, we keep ourselves imprisoned or trapped by the things we believe. And they may not be right, they may not be true, but because you've learned them that way, they're difficult to escape from. So here you are trying to understand here how you escape this darkness here to move into better times. So you're doing a lot of self-work here, Sagittarius. And look at you go. So this is what comes out of that work. Someone who's feeling very self-sufficient, confident, has enough financial resources, can do what they need to do. Someone who has a plethora of opportunities so many things to choose from. So once you open your heart and your eyes, you'll find that you have lots of things out there that you can have, that you can move towards. And that's what you've got in one of these cups. And this is the person you're moving towards now. Somebody that's more suited to you, somebody who's more aligned with your values, someone who respects and loves themselves so they are able to show love and care for others in a way that's true. True love. And no longer do you have to experience this feeling, you know, low or feeling like you're going to be out in the cold from people because it's going to give you this sense of being part of something here. So I feel like perhaps you've already been offered something by this person. And I feel like you possibly here already see some long-term potential, without a doubt. And I feel like you're probably dealing with someone who's quite an analytical person, who uses their mind a lot. And perhaps you feel very different to this person. Perhaps this love that's being offered here feels very, very different to what you've experienced before. Because you're learning your truth here. You're learning who you truly are. And you're taking the sword in hand. So you are moving yourself now to better times. You're moving away from things that no longer serve you. You're understanding the value of self. And you're moving towards this beautiful love here. Because you've understood what you really deserve. You understand who you are now. So it could be that you've met someone who's really shown you something very, very nice here. But definitely moving towards new love. And it does feel new. <laughs> so have the card of love is all around you. So there is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as your truth. What a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Have a great week.